Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video about our proposed residential for Year 7 to the Isle of Wight on Monday the 26th of April 2021. We hope you enjoy the video and which gives you a, a little taste of what sort of things we will be doing on our visit. So we leave bright and early from Brooklyn School driving to Portsmouth where we visit the historic dockyards including a trip to the Mary Rose Museum. After that visit we board our ferry to the Isle of Wight where we are staying for our residential. What the hotel we're staying at is called the Mayfair Hotel in Sandown. We arrive there on the Monday night, we unpack and we have dinner. On the second day we wake up, we have breakfast and we start the day off by going to Brazing Roman Villa which is fantastic. Then after lunch we go and take part in a fossil hunt run by a local guide, Martin Simpson or sometimes it's Martin's wife and you will find fossils. If you look in the second picture everybody's gathered round this weird shaped rock which you can see more closely in the third picture. That is actually a fossilised iguanodon footprint which we found on the beach and we were standing on and having a really good look at. And the fourth picture along shows um, a piece of iguanodon, iguanodon vertebrae that I found as part of that fossil hunt. So it's absolutely fantastic. On day three, we go to Allen Bay, which is where you can get those lovely souvenirs with all the different coloured sands. You can bring those home. And we visit a sweet factory, which is fantastic, as well as a glass blowing factory. And then in the afternoon, we go to Carridsbrook Castle, which is, again, a really interesting example of a castle um, and also one that was used in the English Civil War, which you study in year eight. On day four, we visit Osborne House, which is Queen Victoria's holiday home. The size of this house is absolutely enormous. I cannot believe it was just a holiday home, but it was, and it's really, really fascinating. They also serve, they also sell the best ice creams on the Isle of Wight at um, Osborne House. So that's worth a visit for the ice creams alone. And on the last day we get up bright and early, we leave the hotel and we spend the day at Robin Hill Country Park before we catch our ferry. Now you can see some photos of the year sevens we took a couple of years ago having an absolutely fantastic time on the slides and on the bobsleigh run um, and on the pirate ship. An absolutely lovely uh, adventure park, so much fun and a really nice way to end our residential trip. As mentioned, we're staying at the Mayfair Hotel in Sandown. You can Google that and have a little look at it. Uh, the rooms are double and triple rooms. We will sort out rooms well in advance of, of us going and we will talk to you about who you want to share with and we'll work with you to make sure that you're happy with the people you're sharing a room with. Um, full board is provided throughout the five days. All you need to make sure you've got with you is a packed lunch for that first day because we won't be arriving in Sandown until the evening. So you will need breakfast and you will need a good packed lunch to keep you going throughout the whole day. If you want to bring snacks, of course you can do. That's absolutely fine. Um, on the last day, we will have the opportunity to buy food in the Robin Hill, Robin Hill Country Park. Although, of course, we'll be provided with a packed lunch by the hotel, but you can top that up with food at the Adventure Park. The hotel's fantastic. Like the rooms are really nice, Re recently refurbished. It's in a seafront location right opposite the beach. And weather permitting, we will use the beach for evening activities such as cricket and football and just chilling out on the beach. And you can see on this slide what's included in the price, all meals, ensuite bedrooms, full insurance, entry fees into all activities, ferry and coach travel. We obviously recommend that you bring pocket money if you want to buy souvenirs and things. Generally, we say approximately £10 a day is a good budget to work on just so that you've got, if you want to buy, there's shops in every place we go to, souvenir shops, but of course you don't need to buy souvenirs in every souvenir shop we go into on the Isle of Wight. Um, but we generally sort of work on the idea of £10 a day pocket money. So I've estimated the cost at £375 per child, depending on numbers. 
there is a maximum of 50 places. Now, it says approximately £375 per child, per child. That is the most it's going to be. I'm working on the basis of 50 children wanting to come to the Isle of Wight. And so it's very likely that the, the price will be lower than that. But um, that's what I'm working on at the moment. It says here that it's a non-refundable deposit, which is £50. Now, obviously, if the trip does not happen because of lockdown restrictions, COVID restrictions, or, or we cannot travel, then all money will be refunded. That's what happened last year. We were all set to go. We paid the full amount to, to NST. And of course, lockdown happened. And so we refunded all of the money to the parents. The only way you're your deposit is non-refundable is if you change your mind so if you pay your 50 pounds and then decide in two months time that you don't want to go then i cannot refund that deposit if the trip does not go ahead of course all monies will be refunded you can pay off the the balance as you wish between now and april all I would say is that the total balance received is no later that you pay the total balance no later than four weeks before departure, please. And you can pay on parent mail once your place is confirmed. I'm running a Google Meet on Tuesday, the 17th of November between six o'clock and seven o'clock. The meeting link is on the letter that has been sent out along with this video. Um, you don't have to attend that meeting if you want to go on the trip. It's just there for the opportunity to ask questions if you have any questions to ask. The trip will go live on Parent Mail at 8.30 on Wednesday, the 18th of November. So you will be able to book your child's place from that time. And in order to book it, you need to pay a £50 deposit. It says there's a limit of 50 places. What I will do, if there are more than 50 children that want to go on the trip, I will speak to NST to see if we can increase those numbers. It very much depends on coach availability. So what I would say to you is if you want to go on the trip, then the earlier you book onto the trip, the better. I can usually find extra spaces. I have been able to do in the past, but I cannot guarantee that. So if you do want to book, then the earlier you can book onto the trip, the better. I hope that this little video has given you a taste of the sorts of things we're going to do. I appreciate that you will have lots and lots of questions. You can either attend the Google Meet uh, next week on Tuesday, or if you have any questions that you want to email me at school, then of course, feel free to do so. I look forward to seeing you next week on the Google Meet, and I very much look forward to taking Year 7 on a residential to the Isle of Wight in April. Thank you for your time.